So the nice thing about uh, working on that side of the Rio Verde is you get hot and then you can come and lay down in the river <laughs> and cool off on the way back over. So, so there you go. And I'm thinking how cool it would be to have a Mallorca, which is basically, that's, Mallorca is a ceremony center, but it's also a elevated yurt. And so when you look up that hill there on the, on the top, Durgis land goes back. Oh, I gotta stop at that tree because that's so beautiful. These trees here, they hold the earth of the river back from falling in like it does on the other side. So the, see how that tree over there and then this tree over here, and then they all go down the, uh, the, the edge of the river so it holds the river in. Uh, from slipping into the the water and then yeah so it's very cool. anyway the um, the river or the mountain up on the top is the point of Durgas land and then it goes down into cacao fields and creeks so if you choose to be part of the community and build on the land you can build down in the valley where we're building the Mallorca Mallorca that's where the school and the restaurant and the cafe, the coffee shop, all of that will be. Then you can build up along that hill. If your kids like to ride motorcycles, like mine do, they can cut trail. They can ride the motorcycle down into the community area. Um, this is a cacao here, the cacao trees, see? So you come up from the river and you walk through these beautiful cacao trees and I'm getting ready to go cook lunch for the workers. So, so yeah, I'm just, thoughts going on about where to build my house on the land and it's kind of exciting. I'm loving it. A big old yurt on the hill overlooking the Rio Verde. Adios.